gonna pull the pull the pants up there. Just gonna pretend those are Louboutins. Okay. You got the cufflinks. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, we're here with uh, Jeff Kostoff, the most well-dressed man in the uh, Texas Swimming Center. Uh, 500 there, bread and butter. I mean, you had Liam, you had Drew, you had Grant, you had Johan. I mean, you had a, a stacked group there, so yeah. evaluate that field. Well, it was, um, you know, Grant is obviously a real veteran, and, and he really gets up for big races, so I knew he was going to have a good swim. I kind of had a feeling that Liam was going to get in the race, too, because I think he, he wanted to take a shot at town. And uh, True's working more on his mile, so just to see him drop down in the 16s was good. And then Johan's kind of a newcomer. He's a freshman. I mean, he was a 420 coming into this year. So he went 416 in the morning, came back 416 at night, so I'm really encouraged with his development as well. And I think another few months, you know, we're going to be ready with all four of those guys at NCAAs. What's that training group like? Like, what, what do they do in workout together? Actually, they do a lot of different things because uh, they, they're, they're very different swimmers. Johan and True are more of your kind of true distance swimmers, so they'll do a lot of longer, short rest interval type stuff. Grant really trains more like a sprinter, so he'll do a lot of fast swimming and not very long sets and, uh, and uh, a lot of uh, higher rest sets, but swimming fast. And then Liam's kind of in between. He's kind of in between those two guys. He doesn't really do the long stuff like Troy and Johan, but, but he's also got a fair amount of speed, but he swims longer than Grant. So it's kind of like I, I have to adjust on a weekly cycle what each one's doing and kind of see where they are during the week. Because, you know, it's just, it's really important, I think, for their positive attitudes to keep them swimming fast in practice every week with what they're doing, so kind of adjusting. Because the other thing, too, that's going on with them is, you know, they're, they're all really good students. The academics is really hard, and so sometimes you have a really hard week school-wise, and it, it shows in the pool, so i got to back off of the pool. Because, you know, that, and so we're, we're really trying to keep them, you know, doing what they need to do on a day-to-day -day basis, on a week-to-week -week basis, and then over the course of a month. And, you know, obviously over the course of this fall, with the, with the results that we're showing here, everybody has gotten in the work that they need to do. You know, we're going to have some good miles on, on Saturday. I think we're going to be qualified for NCAAs with who we need to, so we can really get back to work and swim through conference and be ready in March. So, so what was the preparation for this? Are they, are they all the way down? We're not all the way down. You know, they're probably about about half tapered and shaved. But, you know, for distance guys, that usually works pretty well. And, and we didn't have that much, you know, we, we started swimming on September 7th. So we didn't have that much. 